How did the scenario sure. with you and, and Jelly come to light? How did that even happen? Yeah, it was uh, it was actually Boston. I don't know if y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, know Boston. Of course. Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. man. Of course. So it was Boston. He was in a um, club in Nashville. You know, at that time, I was DJing like probably about six times out the week, mm. like six days out the week. And Boston was in like at least three or four of them with me. So he came up to me one time. It was a dead night. He was like, bro, I know you're sick of this shit. And I was like, yeah, bro. It's the same shit. He was like, yeah, you can do this shit everywhere. All around the U.S. I was like, damn, for real. It's like, yeah, I don't know if you heard of Jelly Roll. I heard, of course, I heard of Jelly Roll. You know what I'm saying? It was a name, though. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I've never seen him, never saw a performance. But I was like, yeah, of course, I heard of Jelly Roll. It's like, yeah, he's looking for a DJ. You know what I'm saying? His DJ, somebody was DJ, he's looking mm -hmm. for a DJ. Because was, I think was, this was after how, like, I think mm -hmm. he had, like, two other interim DJs in between them. Yeah. He was like, yeah, you looking for a DJ? I was like, bet. Like, he called me. It was go time after that, for mm -hmm. real. 